Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to evaluate expressions that have both addition and subtraction operations within them. But before we get started, we need to get out. Charlie, he better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's get started right there. First, let's talk about this important note. When simplifying expressions, addition and subtraction must be performed in order working left to right. In other words, whichever comes first. So let's start with this problem here. Notice we have 6 subtract 4 subtract 1. Here we're going to perform the first subtraction, subtract 4. And 6 subtract 4 is 2. Let's bring down our work. And now we're going to subtract 1, means move one more to the left, and our result is positive 1 for our answer. Now let's try this problem. 6 subtract 4 plus 1. Remember, we have to perform additions and subtractions working left to right, whichever comes first. Since the subtraction came first, we need to do that. 6 subtract 4, again, is 2. Let's bring down our work, and now we have to add 1. We move to the right, 1 unit, and that gives us 3. Let's look at this problem. Negative 6 subtract 3 plus 8. Notice we have a subtraction operation. We have an addition operation. We have a negative 6 in front. So, negative 6 subtract 3 is negative 9. So let's bring down our work. Negative 9 plus 8, it's not going to get it to cross 0, right? So we're going to have a negative result. Negative 9 plus 8 is negative 1. Now, let's do this problem. Negative 2 plus 6 subtract 8, subtract 3. We gotta work left to right. Let's begin with negative two plus six. Negative two plus six is going to be a positive four. Let's bring down our work. Now we'll do four subtract eight. That's gonna give us a negative result, and that gives us negative four. And now we do negative four subtract three. We move three units to the left, and we end up at negative seven, and that is our result. Okay, let's look at this problem here. 8 subtract 15 plus 9 subtract 6. Charlie, pay attention. Now, let's begin with 8 subtract 15. Let's start at 8, and let's move to the left 15 times. If we move 8 units to the left, we're at 0. And now we have to move, how many more, Charlie? 7. 7, because 8 plus 7 is 15. Remember, we had to move 15 units total to the left. So 8 subtract 15 is negative 7. Let's bring down our work. Now we'll do negative 7 plus 9. This time we're going to pass the 0, right? Because negative 7 plus 7 is 0. We have to move 9 units to the right, so we still have to go 2 more, and we're at positive 2. So we moved a total of 9 units to the right from the negative 7. Therefore, negative 7 plus 9 is a positive 2. And let's bring down our work. And now we subtract 6 from the 2, and that's going to give us a negative result. Because moving 2 to the left, from the 2 puts us at 0, and we still have to move 4 more, and that puts us at negative 4. And notice, we took 2, and we subtracted 6 units, and that gave us negative 4. And that is our final result there. Okay, let's try one more here. Negative 8 plus 11 plus 6, subtract 4. Now, don't get scared, Charlie. Let's begin with negative 8 plus 11. Remember, we have to work left to right. Here we go. Negative 8 plus 11. We're going to move 11 units to the right. But if we move 8 units to the right, we're at 0, and we have to move how many more to the right, Charlie? 3! That's right, 3, because 8 plus 3 is 11. Remember, we had to move 11 units to the right from this negative 8. So negative 8 plus 11 is a positive 3. Let's bring down our work. Now let's perform 3 plus 6. We start at 3, move 6 units to the right. That gives us 9. And now we have to bring down our work and subtract 4. 9 subtract 4, that gives us for our final answer. So, there we go. We'll see you again soon.